punctuation series. The comma. Now, in the minute, you're gonna stand right there, about this close, okay? So you're gonna stand right there, okay? okay. What a script this is. The lines are clumsy. Look at this. My favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate and vanilla and tiramisu and mango and strawberry and bubblegum and coffee and macadamia nuts and this and that. Okay, that's enough. Too many ands for me and the audience. What's the problem? Oh, hey, hey Director, Director Wang. Wang. Over here, right there. Huh? I know. Some of the lines don't even make sense. I think some punctuation may help. What punctuation would you use? Let me handle this. Molly! 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 Mo Molly, there you are. Director Wang! Listen, punctuation can make a difference. Rewrite. What punctuation should Molly use? from my friend, uh, Molly. Hello? Yes, Comma. uh, uh, yes? <sighs> I hope it won't take long. Stop complaining. I need a rest. Will you excuse me, everyone? Hmm. My friend Molly <laughs> has gotten into some <laughs> trouble. Hmm. I need to see her now. <laughs> really? Are you leaving us? Can you stop her full stop? No! I can't stop Comma from doing what she wants. Oh my goodness! The race can't start without Comma! Well, it's now 10 a.m. We still have six runners. Full stop, mm. exclamation mm. mark, Question mark, mm. slash, mm. quotation mm -hmm. marks, and me, colon. I don't mind. Six or seven runners. Stay or go. We have a choice. <laughs> Can you say something, quotation marks? Uh-oh. We'd better keep our mouths shut. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. <sighs> 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 
Hi, Molly. Hey, Kava. Could you please help me with the script? How can I help you? The director told me to rewrite it. Oh. Please, please help me put it right. Okay, I'll try. <coughs> My favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate and vanilla and tiramisu and... Hey, let me buy you an ice cream, Tommy. Great. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate and vanilla and tiramisu and mango and strawberry and bubblegum and coffee and macadamia nuts and this and that. Um, okay. The line was clumsy, the director said. Well, I'm afraid he's right. And he said, Punctuation can make a difference. So try add some punctuation to make the line shorter. What punctuation? And where to put it? Hmm. Oh, come on. Use a comma between the items in the list, Molly. Ah, a comma. Like this? <laughs> My favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate, vanilla, Tiramisu, mango, strawberry, bubble gum, coffee, and macadamia nuts. The line sounds better now. What else did the director say, Molly? He said I made the boy a mad person. I wouldn't do that. What did you write down here? The boy said, I like cooking dogs and children. Cooking dogs and children? <coughs> Sounds scary. What do you like the most? I like cooking dogs and children. Wow, I can't believe it. The boy likes cooking dogs and he also likes cooking children. No, what I mean is cooking, dogs, and children are the three things the boy likes. Oh, yes, a missing comma to separate the items. I like cooking, comma, dogs, and children. That's what I want to say. With a comma in place, the sentence makes more sense. Pause when you see a comma in a line. It makes a Big difference to the meaning. Yes, I got it. I like cooking. Dogs and children. Now you save the dogs and children, Molly. <gasps> you save me, Karma. Thank you. <laughs> Would you add a comma after the word cooking in this sentence? I like cooking noodles with some vegetables. It looks healthier. Putting an object after cooking to tell what you like to cook is fine. No comma here, please. And be aware, some nouns come in pairs. No comma after cooking in these combinations either. For a big knife and a big fork. What for? To eat you up with. <laughs> well, that's how the story goes. Let's eat, Grandma. Ah! Haha, uh -huh. that sounds scary. Is there a problem here? Hi, Hi Director Wang. We're just talking about the lines and props. Seems a bit flimsy. Go on, Molly. That's the way, Director.
to work. Oh, hi, Molly. Here's the revised script. I made the lines shorter and clearer. OK. Are you sure you want to keep the line, let's eat grandma, without the comma, before grandma? Yes, director. Really? That's how the story goes in Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf ate up grandma. Good. If I put a comma before grandma... Let's eat, grandma. That would mean the wolf is talking to grandma, addressing her. Ah, the meaning could be so different. Fine. Keep the line your way, Molly. I'll see you around. Actors ready? Yes! Set ready. Good job. And goodbye. <laughs> What punctuation should Mary use to separate the food items? I'm on a diet. Put away the potato chips, french fries, fried fish chocolate, bars, sweet potatoes jelly, beans and biscuits. Wow, even I'm confused myself. Now, let me try again by adding some commas. I'm on a diet. Put away the potato chips, french fries, fried fish, chocolate bars, sweet potatoes, jelly beans and biscuits. Why do we need a comma? Let's kick daddy. If there is no comma... Time to eat children! <laughs> Time to eat, children! And remember... Where we place a comma can make a big difference. Look at this little girl. Wow, she's beautiful. Look at this little girl. It's beautiful. Check what you want to say. Punctuation can make a difference. Hmm, is comma coming back? Hi, friends. I'm back. Hooray! She's back. Hey, hooray! hooray! She's back. Welcome to the fun run. Let's meet the runners in this race. Lane one, Lady Comma. Lane two, Mr. Full Stop. Uncle Exclamation Mark, Lane three. Miss Question Mark in Lane four. And Slash, Lane five. Sir Colon, Lane 6, and Quotation Marks, the Twin Brothers in Lane 7. Ready 